women shouldn't have to feel inferior or ashamed of their body parts. Women shouldn't have to walk around in fear of getting raped or like being thinking that we're a whore and we'll do an unmoral and unethical things because we have on a pair of fucking shorts. Who, what the fuck? I was, you could call it triggered, but it wasn't a triggered, like, you know, deep hurt and all the shit. It was triggered. Um, the trigger was feeling de- in a way defeated. I'd been here before. I'd been here before. And y'all know the story where one of the marketing companies I got with, they told me, and I'll never forget this. This was when Amy Lou came in. Amy Lou's like the, I'm pretty much the ambassador for hot moms uh, in the group here. She's been here for a long time, like Whitney as well. Um, but when Amy Lou came in and Marissa, Uh, When Amy Lou came in, she came in because I had a hat on that said, fuck yeah. And I had a bikini on, on a lake. And the marketing guys told me, um, God, this is going to be, the marketing guys told me that I really needed to kind of watch how I do things like that. And, you know, I'm just not going to want any old like client that acts like this or that does that and attracting. They, They said a lot of words that day that really triggered me. Um, you have no idea. Like, anyway, <laughs> I, I could go on. They just said a lot of stuff, and it actually triggered me there. And then I had this other uh, gal, you know, helping us, and she also was in there with them. And, yeah, you know, because I'm not mainstream. I'm not mainstream at all. You know, I'm Casey. Motherfuck- Casey fucking Addison. Okay, ship. <laughs> and uh, those that have known me since high school and stuff like that, they get it. They get it. I ain't changed. I'm fucking. My nickname was Crazy Casey. And I mean, I used to go down the hallways showing my ass, like mooning people, public nudity cracked me up. Like I was that kid, I was that girl, you know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, um, anyway, I don't know if it's part of comedy. I don't know what it comes from, <laughs> but that's just, we're nuts, man. We're crazy. And I like pushing the envelope. I like stuff like that. I like inappropriate stuff. Like I just love inappropriate stuff. That's just, I don't know why it's always got, it makes me laugh and I like to laugh. But when they said that, man, I got triggered. Oh my God. But it was such a pivotal moment in my brand and maturity as a boss bitch. Um, I was like, yeah, that's not for me. Right. You know, think of Lady Gaga. What if Lady Gaga would have listened to her people when they told her to tone it down? What would Madonna be if they told her to tone it down? What would Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Beyonce, you know, all these people do, Prince, let's take it there, if they toned it down and listened to mainstream fucks? I'm not mainstream. You're not mainstream. The fact that you're here, like, hot moms, like, you're not mainstream either, and that's fucking cool. Like, I fuck with you. Do you know what I'm saying? And today, I got on a call, and now, this guy was great. It, it, we went into a few different lanes and a couple of his lanes were spot on they were great the other lane took me back here this time though i didn't internalize it instead i won with it and i got on a couple groups and connected with a few people in like-minded groups and did a live and was able to follow a girl she followed me like some cool shit happened you know and um because now i know that what the world needs like what your people need is you showing up fully as you like what do you like do you like you know like me i like sexy stuff that's why i have kk um like i say i love inappropriate stuff like i love we laugh at them just we laugh we love inappropriate shit that's just part of me and who i am and the people that also share that same like humor thread like we just connect with that and some of some of i don't connect with a lot of people on it but for the most part there's something about me that you like that's funny okay there's something there's something you like about me and you you can hear me talk to you just like i can hear my mentors you know i like them i like how i receive their messages and their all that stuff and i was i'm gonna write a post and i'm i'm scared to write it it's like nicole arbor or whatever her name is it's like that it's um and it's part of like what i wrote last night about the the chapter that i started writing and i was gonna say like do i title it i can't help that i'm 
happy, wealthy, healthy, and hot. Like, we can't help it. And um, cue the salty fucking bitches, you know, on the interwebs. They're not going to like that because the ones that are in that state, which I understand totally, I just did a big therapy session with this little girl that basically was living my life or somewhat close to it, where her dad also told her that um, the shorts she had on her horse shorts and uh, don't dress like that around those men. Um, why are you wearing short shorts around those men kind of thing? You know, everything that we work on here at Hot Moms when really uh, I'm raising my boys. Now, short shorts, you know, at any age shouldn't be a problem. Women shouldn't have to feel inferior or ashamed of their body parts. Women shouldn't have to walk around in fear of getting raped or like being thinking that we're a whore and we're doing unmoral and unethical things because we have on a pair of fucking shorts. Who, what the fuck? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, that all, that reflects him. And I told her, I said, that tells me he's someone that, uh, doesn't do well with women. Doesn't, he doesn't, he's not kind to women. And she goes, yeah, my mom, he treated my mom really bad. I'm like, well, there he goes. <laughs> she left his ass. You know, that's an old belief. If a girl can't wear shorts around a man, she's not responsible for how he fucking feels. And let's go a step further. If they're puberty age, um, less, you know, that's normal. We're here to, we're, we reproduce. That's who we are. Sexual, like since when did, when did being a human with sexual part, like being humans become such a shameful thing? Yet we're shamed for our genitals. We're shamed for having periods. We're, we, I mean, one girl, a girl, she said her friend that started a period. Her dad said that now she's, uh, she's doing the host shit. Like, <laughs> What? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm stepping into this new like self-love thing and I get it now because like, I was watching some other girls that I follow that are like business mentors and stuff and while they work out and they're pretty too, um, you know, they, they don't have the body. They don't have, they don't look like a fitness gal that I would like to look at. Y'all know, I, like if we're talking about fitness body shit, um, some of them are too hard, but like a Ashley Caltwater, her fucking ass holy shit like because she's similar to my body type and if i could have her ass look shit mother I, you couldn't tell me shit right so the girl that i follow a lot of them they just have one thing they're really they have a lot of money and they're still pretty but i want to look sexy as fuck right i want to look like that girl like that ashley girl she, she's that's, that's sexy that's hot but then i want the money too oh, fuck let me go a step further I want to be a really good mom. Oh, let's go one step further. I want to be really fucking happy. Oh, one step further. I also want a good man and to be happy. Let's go a step further and just like, I could keep going. But man, you talk about making people uncomfortable. You know, let's, let's be in a confident woman that's got her shit together that's happy, that's sexy, and looks the way she wants to look. Because, you know, Ashley Caltwater is not everybody's ideal image, you know? Everybody does, may not want to look sexy. They may wanna, they may wanna, You may want to look, like, classy, like, um, what's her, uh, Jackie O. You may want to look like that, and that's, that's your fucking, that's your goal. You like that. That's good shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just, going back to my original thought is... From day one, we're shamed for being girls, you know. Dim your light. Hide your boobs. Hide your butt. Don't show too much skin. Don't make people think about sex. You know what I'm saying? Insecurities. God damn it. That's when you want to go, she, Q, uh, what's his name, Sammy Kershaw? She can't, she don't know she's beautiful. Like, she can't help it. Baby's got them blue jeans on. You know what I'm saying? Country music. So, you know, think about that. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write tonight um, after the bed, after we go to bed and everything. I'm going to write and we're going to process this shit. I got a, got a nice little post here. It's probably going to trigger a lot of people. I'll probably lose followers for it because anybody that's not in their healed state is going to look at it and think, what an arrogant, narcissistic, egotistical female insecure female as she to say that she's hot and happy how dare her say that about herself do you know what i'm saying 
it's going to trigger a lot of people. But if you look on the flip side of it, like, why wouldn't we? Because we've been conditioned our whole lives to think the opposite. Because we're that fucking powerful. Y'all know what's up. <laughs> powerful women? Dog, look at nature. Like, I mean, it's, it's something else. I love my men, though. I love you men. Like, we need our good, healed men. Um, that's not, this post is not about being a feminist at all. But it's about owning our shit and fully stepping into this next level of self-love. You know, um, I, I follow a lot of you, too. And I just think y'all are hot as fuck, too, man. Y'all got everybody's got their own unique way of the way you look and way you carry yourself and when your style like own that shit. Own your pretty ass fucking eyes and eyebrows. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to write this little post. And uh, I actually wanted to share this, too. I work with um, y'all know Kelly. She's basically in like Miss America. For, seriously, like prep. Uh, pageant gal beautiful girl we had to go process something with her because she had so much shame and guilt around being around um the, I don't know if it's like in any certain person but her one girl told her said I hate you I hate hanging around you because you're so fucking pretty and she really internalized that and uh had she was insecure about it and I know a lot of people that sit in there I just think of the miserable hag that's going, oh, help me, I'm so pretty, like mocking us. But we all know that's her own shit that she's sitting in. Um, so there's that. And that's unfortunate. She was also, you know, there was a reason why she thinks this, the way she does. But, man, it's time to stop that shit. You know, it's like I'm tired of feeling like, and the belief in me was this, if I was fat, it would be easier. The belief in me, if I was a little bit, Mm, like I guess I used to look or if I if I wasn't so like fake looking or um, just if I was fat if I had cellulite and one of those girls that gained you know there's fitness girls where they gain like 40 pounds and or 50 pounds showing that that's life and that's living and that's happy versus their basically skeletal anorexic photos and they were really anyway and that's promoted and they get all this praise and insight and all this, which I get it. People want to feel like, okay, I'm not alone in this. I get it, but I'll be goddamn if I'm going to sit here and, um, continue to have this fucked up belief of if I was like that, it would be easier. No, no, no. How about it gets to be easy regardless. It gets to be easy because we're fucking hot because we're fucking successful. It gets to be easy because we are happy. It gets to be easy because we are sure of ourselves. It gets to be easy because we are fucking confident. And we like our shit. We like our money. And we like our fucking in control of our shit. We like having our health. We like have. That's what's up. Cheers to that. Cheers to that shit. Um, I'm going to finish writing it. We'll post it. Hey, if you see it, comment. Let's normalize that shit. Let's step into it. You know what I'm saying? For real. Stepping into a whole new level of self-love is what that is. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Talk to you soon. Super pumped. You are badass.